Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fee from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 15. Now let's understand a very critical topic called product of two vectors. Till now we have done some addition on vectors. We also multiplied some scalar into vector. So till now what we have done, we, we added vector, we subtracted that vector, right? We multiplied, multiplied scalar to vector, scalar to a vector. That is some number like 3, 4, 5, 7, we multiply to vector. We have done this till now. But we never multiply vector to a vector. First, let's understand why do we need that? So to understand this, we should know a little bit of physics because the two examples which I'm going to cover has physics in it. I could not get the better example. If you have, let me know, we'll make videos on that. So let's suppose there is a wooden stick, wooden stick, and you want to move this wooden stick. What you will do, you'll apply some force on this, correct? If you apply force on this, what will happen is gradually this will move. Correct. So this guy moved from here to here. Why? Because you applied a force on this. So in the whole thing, you found that some work was done and the work was done was nothing but force into distance travel. Here, if you see my force is a vector into displacement actually and my displacement is also a vector right so i multiply two vectors and i know that the work done which i got is scalar so we have force we have displacement right we multiply these two and we got work done that is a scalar quantity. Let's take another scenario. We have similar wooden log. This time we fixed it with a nail. This is a nail and we fixed it on the wall. Now again let's apply force. Now what will happen? This will rotate. If you see it didn't move. It rotated. Correct? So in this case also, if you see, we had this is, let's suppose, the vector, R vector, that is distance vector from center. I had this force, I had this R vector, I multiplied these two, I got something called torque. Here, my force is a vector, my this R is a vector. And what I get is also a vector. Correct. So if you see, when I multiply vector, in one case I got scalar as output, in another case I got a vector as output. That means I need two kind of vector multiplication. So this is the need for two kind of vectors multiplications. So if I have a vector 1 and vector v, so that means I need two kind of vector multiplication. And that's what we call dot product and cross product. So this is cross product and it is dot product. In case of cross product, you get vector as output. In case of dot product, we get scalar as output. So we'll learn more about these. But with this background, where in first case, the force was applied, there was a displacement, both force and displacement is a vector, but what we talk about is the work and work is nothing but force into displacement and that is scalar. So we have two vectors, we did a dot product and we got a scalar. In second case, we had this force, we had this R vector, we applied force and a distance R from this point and it produced a torque. Torque itself is a vector. So we are looking for a cross product here. When I am saying that force cross R vector, you get a torque that is also a vector. 
Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.